<laughs> Welcome. It's a great day to be a miner. In today's video, we have a special guest and we're going to do some massive retuning. Without further ado, let's spin that intro. Welcome, how is everyone today? Today we have a special guest in the house. We have the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Matt Electron Engineering to retune my terribly tuned AMD RX reference series rig. It is the Arbiter rig. I have a previous video on the full rig and the tuning in windows. Check it out up above. But today after speaking with Matt Electron Engineering, he said, Altered, what's wrong with you, buddy? Why are you still in windows? Why are you using so much electricity? I was using 1200 watts at the wall and let's talk to Matt Electron Engineering and see just exactly what he can do for us and what he can do for this rig. Well, the tuning is so much easier in Hive OS and originally you did not have that many settings on it. You weren't doing anything with the SOC clocks. You were also running with these stock voltages almost. So that that is why you were pulling like 1200 watts. Now, having you switched over to Hive OS and giving me remote access to it, I was able to bring it down to, what was it, about 920 at the wall? I am currently so at 895 at watts at the wall. Oh, 995. Okay, so we definitely still saved over 200 watts, and they're running a lot. 300, cool. Mr. Mad Electron. Well, you cut charged. me 300 watts. And how much mega hash did that cost us? I think we actually gained two, didn't we? We gained Two, two, two mega hash. It and saves a ton of wattage in the process. Not to mention it's going to help you. Plus, summer's right around the corner. It is going to get hot in there. It is in my garage, my secret mining lair. It and the grunt rig, which is a 12 by 60, 600 XT of all various models. And we also had you do a little tweaking and tuning on that guy as well. Yeah, we definitely took a look at that. Let me pull that up here real quick just so I can reference. Yeah, um, you definitely have a nice... Well, range of manufacturers for your 6600 XTs. I mean, you got Sapphire, MSI, XFX, Power Color, uh, and Asus. Although, I do have to tell you that you got one Asus card, and you have one Power Color card. Yeah, you lost the Silicon Lottery on those two. But the rest of them are doing great. Right. And then that's that's the way it is whenever you're buying GPUs. And, and the real crazy thing is that Power Color Red Devil was probably the most pricey of the lot and that that's kind of heartbreaking so how this all came about let me give some quick background um originally you had posted a video on the rx 6700 xt where you retuned in hive a 6700 xt hellhound i believe it was with yeah. um my man rondy and d miners right so yep. why don't you tell us about that video and how that went well I'm reselling all my older cards. I want to go AMD because that's just me. I like AMD, but I want to go on the more efficient side for 2022. So I built up my rig of 6600s. So now I want to move up to 67s. I want to go efficient with my rigs for 2022. I already built my rigs for the 6600 XT and I wanted to start with the 67s, but I wanted to see how efficient I can get it. The, originally, I was getting maybe 100, 105 watts on the software, so I wanted to hook it up to the uh, PMD, the power measuring device, and see how low we could truly get it. I think we got down to, what, 85 watts at 46 mega hash? I'm trying to remember off the top of my head real quick what it was, but it was an absurdly low number, and it's impressive to see what the 6000 series actually can do. So the only thing I really needed to play with was 6800 non-XTs, which is basically the best you can go in the 6000 series on AMD for GPU mining. And thankfully, you had two of them for me to play with. 
Yeah, so originally, the, ha the way that I was able to pull the power down in Windows is you have to use more power tools. And what that essentially does is that just allows you to use lower limits. You're not actually tweaking any BIOS per se, you're editing the registry in which Windows stops your tuning, the lower limits. And so I did have those lower limits set on my core voltages, but that had nothing to do with the SOC um, that you fine tune to actually bring these things down to a much more efficient level. Is that correct? Yes. That's well, on the 6600 XTs, you can set an SOC voltage and frequency. It really doesn't do that much for them because you're so efficient already. But on the 6700 XTs, especially the one I tested, the power color plus all the ones you have, and even so on the 6800 non-XT, honestly, you save 20 to 30 watts by bringing the SOC clock down after you've done your initial tuning and dropping of voltages and everything else. The SOC is the last thing you do, so this way you don't get uh, instability. But you save like 30 watts a GPU, so that's where we save practically 300 watts on your one rig. And that's massive at the wall, especially like you said, with the heat coming. I have those two rigs in there running, and I'm on 120 volt, and there's only a 20 amp in that garage, so I was already right up against that limit. But now we lowered it 300 watts. We saved a little bit of wattage on the grunt rig and the arbiter rig. Overall, we're keeping the same mega hash at the pool and saving a ton. And man, with summer rolling around, I just looked at that video of yours and it's only at 1500 views. What is wrong with you people? Go watch this video, retune your cards. These AMD cards are amazing. Retune them, get them running efficiently. So do we have anything else to discuss about this retuning? I, I'm truly grateful just for giving you the opportunity to retune my rig, saving me plenty of watts, saving me heat, making quite a lot of stability. I'm truly grateful. Do you have anything else to add? No, I just had fun and thanks for the opportunity to play with your rigs. Since I don't have any 6800s of my of my own yet it was fun to play with yours and to see how low i can truly get it yeah so i think they're i need to go get my own 6800s now i think they're both running about 90 watts in the software and yeah doing right it. at that 61 61, 61 plus mega, mega hash, hash. Yep. i mean that's impressive that's really impressive um and i thank you i, I want to say thank you to rondi and d miners for watching you retune this so efficiently and get this yeah. hammered down no, I'm just kidding. Rondi does a great job, and I appreciate both of you guys. I appreciate all you guys. And let's make sure to go check out Matt Electron's video. The thing is amazing. Please check it out. Please like and subscribe. And let's go ahead and cut to that outro. <laughs> well, there you have it. We have saved a ton of power. I want to say a special thanks and a shout out to Mr. Matt Electron Engineering. Please make sure to go check out his channel, like, subscribe, and all that fun jazz. If you're new to mining or you need some help, make sure to join the Misfit Mining Discord where there's always plenty of seasoned vets in there willing to help you out. If you like the video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride. Pew!